Hello everybody, let's look at how we can create HTTP API mocks using Open API or Swagger uh, specifications in Traffic Pirate in less than three minutes. So I'm going to be testing an application that's connecting to a third-party API, the Pet Store API. Unfortunately, that API is not available yet. So what we'll have to do to be able to test my application in isolation without that API is to create mocks and that applic our application is going to be connecting to those mocks instead of the real APIs. I'll create those mocks using Traffic Parrot and um, I'll create them by using Open API specifications which I've, got, which I've got for that Pet Store API. And since I don't have that application that I'm actually testing yet, I'll show you that the mocks work using Postman. Okay? So I've got Traffic Parrot running here. Uh, I'm going to go to Add and Edit. And Traffic Parrot's got this feature called Skeletons and can generate mocks based on different ways and one of them is by importing pet, uh, by importing open API specifications so I've got the pet store open API specification for that API I'm gonna import it here and right now traffic pirot sees that in that open API spec it's got uh, plenty of uh, methods we can access here endpoints rest endpoints and you can see it sees different types of results as well so um, 200 for a get 400 for a get 200 for a post 400 for a post etc so uh, let's start with a simple one uh, we're gonna say that we want to create a mock uh, for getting a pet fetching a pet we'll say that if we getting the pet number one um, that's going to be Pluto. Save that. There we, there we are. It's on the list here. And then if we're getting number two, uh, we're going to say it's Shaggy. All right. And there you go. It was as easy as that to create mocks of that um, Pet Store API using Open API specification within Traffic Parrot. So I can test these now. So I can say in Postman, let's see what the pet number one is. If we hit that mock, and there we go. This is what we've told it to do, return Pluto. And if I do pets two and test the other mock, it's shaggy. If I test pets three, pets three, Oh, there's nothing there. Traffic Pirate doesn't know what to do with it because we haven't told it uh, what to do with it. So you see, um, you can do uh, Traffic Pirate recognize that in this Open API specification, you had a post, for example, so you could fill that in as well, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, um, this is a very simplistic example. We can generate dynamic responses, also of so all sorts of different uh, fancy things. If you wanted to, just go to Traffic Power Documentation and browse through the dynamic responses section, etc. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it was as easy as that to create HTTP API mocks using Open API specification and Traffic Parrot. So if you feel like having a go at it um, and that's something you need, uh, go to Traffic Power.com and request the free evaluation for the SAS trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.